Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. Today I've got some emulation news for you. We're talking about Dolphin on Android as well as Flycast on PC. Let's get started. All right, we'll kick things off here with your favorite Wii and GameCube emulator on Android, Dolphin. Now we're not talking about Dolphin that's available in the Google Play Store. We're talking about Dolphin MMJR, which is only available as a separate APK. Dolphin MMJR is geared towards performance as opposed to emulation perfection. Now the MMJ in Dolphin stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano and the R stands for revamp. And interestingly enough here, we thought development on MMJR and MMJR2, the original one had stopped because the main developer was going to school and they didn't have enough time. But it looks like now updates are slowly trickling in and Dolphin MMJR is definitely not dead. This latest version of Dolphin MMJR just came out today, at least at the time of filming here, and it has been a while since the last update, which was back in September. So this version adds toggle options for high res textures and enhancements. If you use Dolphin MMJR, definitely upgrade to this version. They do state you might need to uninstall the previous version, but it may vary from device to device. If you don't use Dolphin MMJR, I still recommend using the Google Play Store version of Dolphin first. Always use the original first if it works great. If you're running into performance issues, then maybe check out a fork. Dolphin MMJR is pretty good here, you can check it out, it should be relatively safe for your device. If you're running into performance issues with the Google Play Store version of Dolphin and Dolphin MMJR, maybe try Dolphin MMJR too. Moving on here and we're still talking about Dolphin, just a different fork entirely than newly announced Dolphin Omega. And this is yesterday's video where we talked about it. So this is more of an update than anything. In that video yesterday, I mentioned that the performance numbers of this new Dolphin Omega fork seemed a little bit too good to be true. They really didn't add up here. On top of that, they didn't provide any source code and it was just an APK to download. I recommended not downloading it and I said it was a giant red flag. And lo and behold here, I was right. So the creator of that thread posted this today. Announcement, this was a joke build. It was as a joke with APK editor to see if people would claim performance improvement even though I didn't change anything because some people are saying Dolphin Chew, another reskin has actual performance improvements and I made this for them. So thanks for wasting everybody's time, regular person 0909. Last up here, we're talking about Dreamcast emulation on PC with Flycast, specifically in regards to Fightcade. If you don't know what Fightcade is, I'll leave a link in the description below at a really high level here. It's basically the best way to play retro games online competitively or even casually. It is focused on fighting games, yes, but you can use it for a bunch of other games as well. The latest development build of Flycast Dojo contains a massive update, and that's the ability to play Sega Naomi 2 games. They're testing it out right here with Virtual Fighter 4, but I also think it works with Initial D Arcade Stage. At this point in time, if you want to play Sega Naomi 2 games, you are stuck with using OpenGL as the renderer. It doesn't work with Vulkan or DirectX. The instructions are pretty simple and straightforward. I'll drop a link to this GitHub in the description below where you can actually pick up this development build. Now, if Naomi 2 isn't your thing, they also have some other updates here on the exact same day. This is a different development build. Uh, they introduce some changes as well. And one of them is the arcade mode in Guilty Gear XXAC. They've also got some memory leak fixes as well as viewing fixes if you like to spectate. On a side note here, if you like testing things out and want to help potentially shape an emulator, this might be your chance. They are looking for people to test these development builds out, identify any bugs and provide some feedback. So if you know anything about emulation, if you know anything about fighting games for that matter and you can identify when something isn't quite right, well, feel free to check out one of these development builds and provide your feedback. Because for example here, Silent Scope, an amazing fighting game player, provided some feedback that led to a fix of a memory leak in GGPO. But anyways, that is all I've got for you today. Short, sweet, and to the point, all stuff and no fluff. Let me know your thoughts about anything we talked about today, whether it's Dolphin MMJR, the fake Dolphin Omega, or Flycast, or even Fightcate in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Don't tempt fate, save your state.